so um, I am creating a brand new text document and of course I will uh, instantly rename it and say that this will be my uh, C timer uh, window something like that this is not really the window but the Mm, uh, 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 container which will contain uh, everything that uh, fluid generated for me uh, just um, I'll, I'll let me finish this so uh, I need two files the CPP file implementation file okay and I will also need a new text document just uh, say text document and C timer uh, window dot h which is the header file so properly rename that two empty files okay i will now uh, go and go ahead and double click this and uh, my timer window header file opens in the editor so um, if not defined um, uh, uh, c timer uh, window underscore h included uh, then now uh, selecting everything shift control u make it uppercase because this is uh, a macro I will say then uh, define the symbol and by default it will be defined as zero and and if so my header guards are in place and I can safely write my code between those two lines. So I uh, recall that I have the fluid has generated this file which is the header file and also generated the implementation file. I really don't care about this implementation right now. What I really do care about is that I have a class created by fluid for me and its name C Fluid Timer UI, which was uh, the originally given as a name for the project. So Control C, copy this, and uh, let me actually show it side by side. Maybe close this here and show everything side by side. So clearly it says generated by Fluid, and this is our own file. So I'm going to say class. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's include first. Let's include this um, fluid timer UI underscore H. Uh, that's uh, what we need to be including in our in our code. However, uh, because I created my header file and my CPP file, they're really not connected to the project just yet at all. I'm just trying to work on these files. Uh, the fluid project is located under fluid project subdirectory. So I will then say, control C, that this file actually sitting is sitting in the subdirectory named fluid project. Okay, save that. Uh, and then, so this include will bring this definition of class generated by fluid to my own file. So uh, now I can include my own file, and this will automatically include the fluid-generated header file. That's fine. So now I am going to say class uh, C timer uh, window, uh, and uh, here's a, a bit of a strange trick that I'm going to use. I'm going to say, let me have this class inherit everything from everything that fluid has generated for me. There is a syn syntax for this called public, um, oops, uh, that's going to be the name of the class. I'm going to say this, and uh, this is going to be my class, but instead of just designing it from scratch, I will, in I will inherit what uh, fluid has done for me. You will see how I'm going to use this, and obviously inheritance, which is this part right here, is going to be discussed in our class a uh, few lectures from now. But, you know, since we have to start someplace, I find that this particular design is actually going to be the simplest way 
of programming user interface with the knowledge that we already have. So anyway, if, if, if you will, I can demonstrate it this, this way. Um, when I go to, uh, say, you know, do some sketch on what's going on here. So by doing this, saying my class inherits publicly from this other class already generated by Fluid, in my case, what, I'm, what is going to happen, suppose that I create this C timer window, which is my own thing. Well, first, what it's going to do is going to, to create, uh, it's first going to create an instance of the Fluid Timer UI and then wrap itself around it in memory. So this is what it's going to do. So this is how it's going to look like as a result of me, uh, you know, doing this. Basically, the Fluid Timer UI, this guy, is going to be in completely enclosed within this, this other class that I'm actually about to design. All right? So it's uh, essentially going to be contained because I am inheriting from it. So this class is also this class. And that's how things are going to look like in memory. All right, a bit <coughs> messy, but uh, it's going to work. So the next thing that I do is that I'm going to say uh, I need a public constructor. Uh, I guess I'm writing too, too much Java code nowadays, so <laughs> I'm trying to format it the way Java code uh, looks like. So C timer window is the constructor, and I typically say constructor, constructor, uh, constructors possibly have multiple constructors and one destructor. It's just a standard uh, uh, comment that you can have in your in your code. And this is the declaration of the default constructor. So I'm just going to use my default constructor in my class definition. Just like here, a fluid generated also default constructor for me. And also, if you recall from last lecture, if everything works properly, and this window that we try to get to is actually constructed, if it's constructed, then it's not going to be visible. You really have to say it to, um, uh, to, the, uh, um, to the window itself. Show. Go ahead and show. It. So that's why I'm going to say void show. I really need this show function that will be part of my window which will do the proper thing to show the uh, uh, show the, uh, the 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 window on screen. Okay, and so that's about it. Let's start with this. Now I am going to open the, the another empty file which I did create just a <coughs> few minutes ago, and it's the timer uh, window .cpp. So you you know my habit. I I like to display things side by side. And I'm about to create this uh, file. So let's see. Let me save this and we can switch the recording. Let's make sure we record everything. <coughs>